Good morning and welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Sunday morning, this fourth Sunday um, after Easter. And I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my and mouth shall declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O oh, come, let us worship him. Hallelujah. Our psalm today is Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who only does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. Who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endures forever. Who created great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from above among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and stretched out arm, for his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Basham for his mercy endures forever and great uh, and, and gave away their lands for an inheritance for his mercy endures forever an inheritance for Israel, his servant for his mercy endures forever who remembered us in our low estate for his mercy endures forever and delivered us from our enemies for his mercy endures forever who gave gives food to all cre creatures for his mercy endures forever give thanks to the God of heaven for his mercy endures forever. Let us pray. God of everlasting love, through your word, you made all things in heaven and on earth. You have opened to us the path from death to life. Listen to the songs of the universe, the, the hymn of resurrection sung by your church and give us your blessing through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> our first reading today comes from Exodus, the 28th chapter. Then bring near to you Aaron, your brother, and his sons with him from among the people of Israel to serve me as priests. Aaron and Aaron's son Nadab and Abihu, El Eleazar and Ithamar. And you shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, for glory and for beauty. And you shall speak to all who have ability, whom I have endowed with an able mind, that they make Aaron's garments to consecrate him for my priesthood. These are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, an ephod, a robe, a coat of checkered work, a turban, and a girdle. They shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother and his sons to serve me as priests. And in the breastplate of judgment you shall put the Urim and the Thummim, the Thummim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goes in before the Lord. Thus Aaron shall bear the judgment of the people of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. And you, sh and you shall make the robe of an ephod olive blue. It shall have it in an opening for, its, for the head with a woven binding around the opening, like an opening in a garment that it may not be torn. One of its skirts 
shall uh, you shall make pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet stuff around its skirts with bells of gold between them, a golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate round about on the skirts of the robe. And it shall be upon Aaron when he ministers and its sound shall be heard when he goes into the holy place before the Lord and when he comes out, lest he die. And you shall make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it like the engravings of the signet, holy to the Lord, and you shall fasten it on the turban by the lace of blue. It shall be on the front of the turban. It shall be upon Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall take upon himself any guilt incurred in the holy offerings, which the people of Israel hollow of as their holy gifts. Hallow as their holy gifts. It shall always be upon his forehead, that they may be accepted before the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from 1 John, the second chapter. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. So now many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out, that it might be plain that they all are not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all know. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and know that no lie is of the truth. You, you know, Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist. He who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. He who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. I write this to you about those who would deceive you. But the anointing which is received from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you, as his anointing teaches you about everything, and is true and is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not shrink from him in shame as his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who does right is born of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be you. to God. And our holy gospel comes from the sixth chapter of Mark. Glory to you, Glory. O Lord. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, come away by yourself to a lonely place and rest a while. For many are coming and going, and they have no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a lonely place by themselves. Now many saw them going and knew them, and they ran there on foot from all the towns that got there ahead of them. And he went ashore, he saw a great throng, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And when he grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is the lonely place, and the hour is now late. Send them away and go to into the country and villages around about and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. And they said to him, Shall we buy a go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he commanded them all to sit down by companies upon the great green grass. So they sat down in groups by hundreds and by fifties. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up and to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up 12 baskets full of broken pieces of the fish. And those who ate the loaves were 5,000 men. The gospel of our Lord. Praise Thank to you, you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. This is the day the Lord has made. Let, hallelujah. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, give us new strength from the courage of Christ our Shepherd and lead us to join the saints in heaven where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Sunday. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.